What's up everybody and welcome back to my let's play of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. In the last episode we went exploring around the Great Sea in search of more collectibles and treasure. And well in this episode we have a couple of more side quests that I want to take care of. Uh, but they're actually all at Windfall Island. So we want to go ahead and make our way over there and it is the middle of the night and hopefully it will stay stay that way. I can't see the moon exactly, but I would like for the moon to be full because uh, that will actually help us in a side quest while it's the middle of the night. Uh, hopefully we get over here in time. And I think we should. We, sh we shouldn't be like lost for time or anything. Um, so we should be good to make it there before it turns day. And uh, sure enough, here we are already. Yeah, with that swift sail, everything is incredibly fast. And you can get from one side of the map to the other in a little to no time at all. Alright, so where is our good buddy the moon? Man, I can be at odds. Not even a full moon. Alright, so we're going to have to uh, continue to change the time, actually, until we kind of get that far into it. Um, but first things first. Um, I don't think there's actually anything that we can do at night, so we might as well just go ahead and change the time actually you know what that was kind of a bad idea because I there actually is something that we can do here at night and it's actually the first thing that I want to do because I actually want to head back to the uh, auction house All right, so let's uh, change the time one more time because it may become a full moon anyway so it'll be helpful for us to have a full moon because that's another side quest that we'll be doing all right where's the moon I can't see it of course um, get over here and I should be able to get a better view if I yeah, climb up over here this is probably the best spot to look at the moon from okay so the moon is actually fading so we're gonna have to do that a couple of times uh, but it doesn't really matter anyway uh, because I want to head back to the auction house and we should have enough rubies to do this but um we didn't get this the first time that we were here mainly because we just didn't have enough money uh, but there's actually two treasure charts that I want to collect now once like I've said we've already seen uh, how auctions work so I'm just going to cut ahead until I get like um I guess until either I get the item on the screen and then I'll cut ahead again until I've won the item or I'll just cut ahead until I've won both treasure charts um, because there's only three items left one of them is a joy pendant and the other two are both the treasure charts so we should have a pretty high chance of getting the treasure charge and yep here's one now so uh i'm not sure exactly which one this is um two of them are at two different prices i believe one of them which is number 18 is at like five rubies and the next one is at 60 rubies like that says and i believe it's number 38 now i may have my numbers backwards but uh anyways i'm gonna cut ahead until i finish this auction so i'll see you guys in just a second and there we go i just won the first treasure chart for 200 rubies all right so now that you've seen that um i guess i'll be cutting ahead until we get the next treasure chart see you guys then all right here we go here's the treasure chart and i was correct in assuming that this one would be number 18 and the one we got earlier for 60 rubies to be 38 so this one should start at only five rubies so the price really shouldn't get above i believe like 100 to 105 maybe 115 at most this one usually doesn't get too high um but anyway i'm going to see you guys once we've won this treasure charge Alrighty. i cut that one a little more close than the last one i accidentally came in too early and then had to spam the A button for the last 10 seconds just to get a bit in at the very last moment. And we got it for actually 140 rubies. They were jacking up that price, the CPUs were. So yeah, this whole game is really just a giant game of luck, really, and how much money the CPUs decide to spend on this game. So yeah, we're already back down under 200 rubies and stuff. And you can talk to some of like the NPCs as well once you get done like uh, Linda here and you can and she'll be like well honestly 
where on that tiny body could be he be hiding all that cash and you know just different things like that and they're just kind of all like you know how how do you have so much money and stuff because you know link's really only just a kid but anyway now that we're done with that um next i want to find the moon and i reckon what we'll do is um change the time a couple of times until we get a full moon so uh, I know I've already made a bunch of cuts already in this episode, but I reckon I'll make one more because uh, this one's going to take a while. So um, I'll see you guys once we have a full moon. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Alrighty, guys, we have a full moon in the sky. And so what we need to do is all we need to do is find the moon, zoom in a little bit just to capture the whole moon in the picture and nothing else. And snap a picture. And then we need to save it. And once we do that, we can now change it back to day one more time. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to... Um, if you saw, there was a guy who was right here in front of these steps here. And uh, he's looking for a photo. You pesky little rat. Nobody understands how I feel. Do you hear me? Nobody. Not you. Not anybody. Wait. Are you trying to tell me that you do understand how I feel? Uh, yeah, dude. Oh, really? Now about a little test to see if you really do. I want to take a picture of the first thing. Per the first perfectly round, pale thing you can think of and show it to me. If you show me something that's exactly the same as my favorite thing, then you win. And I'll acknowledge that you understand my inner workings of my heart and mind. It's quite a simple little riddle, isn't it? Quickly now, bring me a pictograph. Alright, sure thing, dude. I think this is what you're looking for. Oh, that's right. That certainly is a pictograph I'm looking for. The correct answer is exactly what you've shown me. The full moon. Unrequited love may have twisted me up inside, but I can still find peace when I'm gazing at the timeless moon. And out of all of our phases, I particularly love the gazing at the full moon. I know I've caused you a lot of trouble, but thanks. I really mean it. I want you to have this for all your effort, just a little reward for easing the pain of this troubled heart. And we get another treasure chart. So three already in this episode. It's supposed to have a spot on it where some sunken treasure lies. I don't have a boat, so I can't leave this island to go look for it anyways. Tonight I'll be asking the night sky to help you find treasure. Best of luck. Alright, thanks, man. Yeah, um, we still have, like, one more treasure chart to find. She's so saucy, isn't she? I can't believe she's a school teacher. Rumor has it she has a mountain of tacky pendants and earrings. As if she loves nothing in the world more than jewelry. Hmm? Now what are you doing? What are you listening to us, you scamp? You listen, young man. I haven't seen you around, so I guess you're new to Windfall. But don't you know it's bad to eavesdrop on conversations meant only for adult ears? We're discussing very, very important topics that kids just won't understand. You're far too young to be listening to us, young man. So shoo! Hmm. That may be something we have to come back to. Um, but I actually won't have to pick a two Linda. Well, what do you think about my outfit? You don't seem clothes this often, do you? Aren't they so cute? A friend of mine who lives on outside sent this gift to me. She's an amazing girl. She can put jaws on her head and walk around like there's nothing at all. You have to see it to believe it. Hmm. There's supposed to be two quests that we can do here that I'm kind of unsure of why I can't seem to figure out how to do that. I tell you, every time I walk by, she kind of gives me that look. You know what that look I'm talking about? What do you suppose that look could mean? Hmm. Um... Let's go back to her and see what she has to say about that. Hey, I've got something on my mind ever since that pictogra pictographer who lives in the red brick house told me of my fortune. He told me if I sent a beautiful pictograph of myself to the one who has captured my heart, true love will blossom in return. So I couldn't help but notice that you have a picture box of your own, don't you? Do you mind? Do you think you could take a pictograph of me for, to the apple of my eye? Maybe he'll notice my affections. Leave it to me. Really? How splendid. Be sure to get my good side. And I want to show off this pictograph, so don't just take a picture of my face. Can you make sure you get my whole body in the pictograph? Yeah, there we go. I just had to go talk to him to activate the quest. Alright, so let's take a picture of her. And can you get out of the picture, kid? Oh, well. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to talk to you, thanks. Alright, so uh, where is Anton, the dude we're talking to right down here? So, uh, hey, bud. Why don't you take a look at this pictograph? What pictograph, hey, buddy? Say, speaking of pictographs, did you know there's a famous pictographer living here on the island? Linzo is his name. Have you met him yet, buddy? Um. Alright, looks like I may have to go take another picture then. 
Um, let's actually delete this picture while we're at it. Um, that picture is going to come in handy a little bit later than the one I took a while back. Uh, a couple episodes ago of Lonzo and Mineko. If you do a little click click to picture graphic to him for me, then surely. Hmm. Alright, now that the kids won't be in the photo, I can get your whole body in the picture. There we go. Now this should work. Maybe it's because the kid was in it, I'm not sure, but this one should work. Ah, this girl. Actually, buddy, this is the girl I've had my eye on lately. Wow, she really is that pretty. I mean, just seeing this pictograph reminds me of how gorgeous that girl is. But no, I'll never be happy with just a mere pictograph. Never. That's it, I made my decision. I'm gonna get that girl to go out with me. It's gotta be done, buddy. I've got it. Maybe I'll invite her to join me at the cafe bar for coffee. Of course. So what's her name anyways? Do you think she's nice? Does she have a steady fellow? Oh, I'm so nervous. Hmm. Uh-oh. That old man was about to chase me down. Yeah, leave me alone, dude. Alright, so I think if we just enter a building and then exit, they should both be gone. So uh, let's just enter Lonzo's shop here. And once we come out, they should both have disappeared and are no longer outside on the island. So, um, now let's go back out. And she shouldn't be standing there, if I remember correctly. And, no, oh, she is. Maybe we just have to go to the coffee bar instead. I think if we go up there, I think they'll be inside, both of them. I don't exactly remember how to do this quest, and I forgot to write it down in my notes, which is kind of hilarious. And, uh, yeah, no, they're not in here, so, uh, I gotta figure out how to finish this quest. Um... Let's see, I think we can also... Jeez, I just had a video start playing in my ear because Google decided to open up. I'm not really sure why that happened, but anyway. I think if I actually show these guys a picture... No, we should be able to show them a pictograph. At least I thought so. Maybe not. Um, I must think we may have to change the day tonight. And wrong song anyway um yeah now i don't even remember how to finish this quest Just, yeah turn the wind north it doesn't really matter I, I don't care um what i want to do is i believe change the day to night and the night to day maybe or they may be only meeting there at night i don't exactly remember let's go check just to see this place may be locked or no it's actually open they may actually be in here then Alright, let's see, and, uh... Hmm. Yeah, they're not here either. Well, a bunch of people show up here at night. Cool. I actually never noticed that. Um, now I really just have to figure out how to... get this, um... Maybe turn it back to night and wrong song again. I'm gonna start playing the wrong one again. I think if we change it back to day, they should be inside, or either I need to go talk to Linda. Uh, it's no, it's. But well, I don't know why that didn't work the first time. Was I doing it wrong? I may have been doing it wrong. I'm not sure. I kept messing it up, and I wasn't sure why it was happening. Yeah, some of these quests are hard to remember, like exactly how you finish them, because sometimes they require you to go back and talk to like okay, I'm gonna like talk to her. Maybe he'll come tomorrow. Um, you're telling me he's. Hold on. Uh, you know, I'm very confused now, actually. Because he should be up here. Alright, let's talk to him and see what he has to say. He said, I've made my mind. We're going to ask her for coffee. And if things are going on, I'm going to ask. I'm going to profess my love to her. I just can't seem to slow down. I'm so nervous. I don't know why I'm supposed to invite her. Hmm. Right, I've skipped to the next day. They may actually be in here now. I'm not sure. I, yeah, I don't want to talk to you. Um, yeah, um, yeah, leave me alone. Thank you. Alright, so maybe if we head back in here, maybe now they'll be inside. I think that's what we have to do. And, uh, nope, they're still not in here, which is kind of strange. Um, I'm going to actually cut ahead until I figure out 
how to get them to move into the coffee shop because I can't get it to work for some reason. Um, so I'll see you guys in just a second. Alrighty guys, so uh, what you have to do is actually you have to play the Song of Passing outside twice in order to get them to go on a date. And we go and, t and talk to Link, uh, Linda, excuse me. the two of us are going to start dating. Don't we make a delightful couple? Yeah, you sure do. I'm so happy. That's why I want you to share, I just want to share some of our happiness with you. And we get a piece of heart. Sweet. Take good care of it. Alright, will do. Alright, and now there's only one more quest that I want to complete in this episode. So, um, I want to head over here to these two ladies right over here. Um, let me talk to you. So anyway, you know that brick building at the top of the stairs? Well, the gentleman who lives there is such class. Well, I know the serious pictograph Lenzo is so dreamy. Oh, he makes my heart go a flutter. But you think the rumors should be true? He's actually devoted to someone special. He seems to be too serious about his work to be involved with someone. Lucky lady, who could she be? I wish someone would take a pictograph of the two of them together to see if the rumors are true. Oh, that'd be to die for. Hmm, you want to gossip about photos, eh? Yeah, now we show them the picture of Alonzo from earlier. Oh, this is... It's a pictographer, Lenzo, and that pictograph loving Lakey. I guess we were completely wrong about Lenzo having a girlfriend. This is though they're just some old friends who happen to share the same hobby. Thanks for setting us straight, young man. We were just stop spreading idle gossip like that. You taught us the error of our ways, and to thank you, we're gonna give you something nice. Stick out your hand. And with that, we've got another treasure chart four in this episode. Pretty insane. My naughty little boy found this somewhere. I'm sure you'll like it. All right, thank you very much. And with that, that's pretty much gonna do it all for this episode here, guys. So if you guys like this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. It's a channel a lot. And if you want to see more content like this, please do consider subscribing. Once again, guys, my name is Connor. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.